Hi everyone, welcome to our brief orientation to Compass, the new format for confirmation at Trinity Lutheran Church. We did a lot of thinking and dreaming as to what this might look like, and some of the things we kept circling back to were creating a sense of community, as well as equipping students for a life of discipleship. With those things in mind, we decided to include 6th through ninth graders in Compass. We feel that all middle schoolers should learn about and celebrate their faith together, as well as our ninth graders that have a separate curriculum that dives into topics better suited for high schoolers. So let's talk a little bit more about our program. There are so many new realities in our time of COVID-19. We identified a few universal experiences for families at Trinity. First, we all are living with a lot of uncertainty, school, sports, church, family, and friends. With so many unknowns, it is difficult to rely on anything. Second, we are probably experiencing screen fatigue. With so much of our life moving into the virtual realm, the last thing we want for our students is to experience screen fatigue while sitting through an hour long lecture. Third, we are overloaded with new information. Families and students are overwhelmed with the amount of information from school, media, social networks, and more. So, we hope that our new program doesn't cause a headache, but rather frees you up to continue the faith formation journey in a positive way. Lastly, we all need our peers. Faith is made within the context of being in community with others. Despite being socially distanced and limiting our interactions, we need each other now more than ever. Recognizing these realities, we are using the metaphor of a holy experiment to help frame our children, youth, and family programs this year. In doing so, we're able to adapt to our ever-changing reality. We are able to listen to the needs of our youth as well as experts in the education field. We can continue to make confirmation a transformative experience, and we can follow the direction of the Holy Spirit. Our solution is a rebranded and reorganized confirmation program called COMPASS. As mentioned earlier, we are including 6th through ninth graders. Compass will provide a stable plan that can shift to in-person meetings or a hybrid model no matter what COVID decides to do. We are limiting our screen time to brief modules for each lesson to reduce the amount of time spent in front of a screen at one time. Compass also has a streamlined communication process by utilizing the Seesaw app where we can message students and comment on their work within the program instead of sending yet another email. Compass also provides community by incorporating Zoom check-ins as well as group experiences through electives. Compass utilizes a few core activities. They include a series of videos for each lesson, an application to connect the material learned to everyday life, a Zoom check-in with peers, and also electives to further connect life to spiritual growth. Here's an example of how a week might go. Each student will be responsible for watching a series of brief videos posted in the Seesaw app. If the video is a bit longer, they will be directed to a YouTube link. Paired with the video will be reflection questions to ponder or Bible passages to dive deeper into the subject. There will also be an application. So after watching the videos, each student will be given multiple options to complete a project to further think about the topic. Those applications are to be turned in on the Seesaw app. As we mentioned earlier, we are also having Zoom check-ins with myself, Pastor Tom, or Pastor Patrick. After watching videos and completing an application of their choice, students will use the following week to check in for about 20 minutes. Our discussion will be a combination of fellowship and faith discussion. This is an ideal schedule for two weeks. Some holiday breaks will throw this routine off a little bit. Lastly, each student is responsible for completing three electives each program year. The goal of electives is meant to enhance one's faith formation journey in areas that are of interest to the student while providing flexibility for busy schedules. We will provide a list of courses uh, students might participate in each month a few weeks prior to the start of the month. Registration for these will take place through Sign Up Genius. So here is an example month if someone is also taking an elective. Week one, they will watch the videos and complete the application. Week two, they will participate in a Zoom check-in 
and watch the film Just Mercy and begin to reflect on some questions provided. Week three, they will watch the videos and complete the application. Week four, they will participate in a Zoom check-in as well as a conversation about the film Just Mercy with a staff member and others who have registered for that elective. Now, there are a number of online tools to use in our current day, but we are going to try to limit what we use so that outside of our church website and our Seesaw app, you don't really have to look too far to find information. First, Facebook is a way that you can connect with Trinity. We share lots of information about church-wide programs, but we also offer up our Sunday worship as well as weeknight devotions called Trinity 10. Seesaw will be the primary mode for watching videos and submitting your work. YouTube links will be provided occasionally if we need to link a certain video or a resource relevant to the topic of the week. Sign Up Genius will also be used for registering for electives. And lastly, we'll also use Zoom for many of our virtual discussions. Because Seesaw will be the most heavily used tool, whether through the app, on your tablet or smartphone, or even your laptop, we thought it would be a good idea to walk through how to sign up and use this program. We're going to send out emails with intuitive and self-explanatory instructions, but in case you need help, we've got gotcha. you. So I took a few screenshots of this process using my laptop. You'll go to Seesaw.com and click on the Login button in the upper right-hand corner. Select I am a student. You will enter the class code provided in the email. If you have not used Seesaw before, you'll create an account with the information that's requested. And then you're done! Now, let's show you how to submit an application. When you log in, you will be directed to the landing page. Here, you will select Activities. Then, you will find the application activity to complete for that week. Then, when you know which one you'd like to do, select Add Response. Now, it is the important part you need to decide how to submit your application. If you are writing something or you have a series of pictures, you can add those with the upload option. If you want to record yourself doing something, you can hit the record button. If you'd rather type it into the app, you can select the notes option. We will probably not use the link or drawing function too much. Let's say I'm gonna submit a piece of writing for my application and have decided to type it up on my laptop saying Microsoft Word or something like that. I'll then use the upload function. Please note that you must save it as a PDF. It will not take a doc format. So I searched my computer, I found the file I want and it's called Friday Morning Prayer. I'll open it up into the Seesaw app. This is what it'll look like so you can check your work, add some notes, or you can record yourself reading it as an extra touch. When you're ready to submit it, click the green check mark and you're done! We hope you have found this brief explanation of Compass and a quick tutorial on Seesaw helpful. If you would like to review this video for reference, we will have it on the Youth Ministries page on our website. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact myself, Pastor Tom, or Ashley Olson. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Bye! Bye!